does it mean when a billionaire backs your cause? Well, KCK is about to find out. The social justice arm of Rock Nation, created by rapper Jay-Z, is fighting for police documents. Tonight, we're getting some new information about what that means exactly. Our investigative reporter, Angie Bracono, is answering the big question. That is, how did Jay-Z find KCK? That's what I was wondering. <laughs> what in the world? New York City right now is headed back to where it was in the 90s. It hasn't been this dangerous, this deadly, this murderous for some people in New York in 30 years since before Giuliani took office. And Jay-Z is worried about the police in Kansas City? And he made most of his money talking about selling drugs and shooting people. Do you remember his lyric? It's hard not to kill sun men. It's like a full-time job not to kill sun men. In many other lines where he was talking about shooting people and killing people. Listen, full disclosure... If I could have been a rapper, I probably would have talked about the same thing. <laughs> the fact remains, though, fast forward 30 years, he chasing around the police in Kansas City. And we're going to get into what's going on in Kansas City that he's not talking about in a minute. What does it mean when a billionaire backs your cause? Well, KCK is about to find out. The social justice arm of Rock Nation, created by rapper Jay-Z, is fighting for police documents. Tonight, we're getting some new information about what that means exactly. Our investigative reporter, Angie Bracono, is answering the big question. That is, how did Jay-Z find KCK? Short answer, the Midwest Innocence Project. Attorneys have exposed terrible allegations of corruption and abuse connected to Lamont McIntyre. He's now free, but his wrongful conviction never led to accountability or reforms. So the Midwest Innocence Project approached Rock Nation. Get ready for a nationwide shaming and a legal team that has the muscle and the means. So she, she got it right, a nationwide shaming. So he's going to take the, he's going to, Take the Kansas City Police Department. Put them on the summer jam screen. <laughs> like he did Bob Deep. Because this guy was wrongfully convicted. Now, everybody knows that Kansas City has hundreds and hundreds of murders every year. And last year was their deadliest year in three decades, just like New York, just like every other city. Jay-Z won't talk about that. Off to the gun memorial. Now, Kansas City is 30% sun people and 60% glacier gliders. Anybody shocked by what we're seeing on the gun memorial? Kansas City is 30% sun people. Look at this young lady. Wow, killed three family members inside the home. Yikes. But last year, as I told you, was the worst year. And look how many sisters be getting whacked out here. Sisters just be getting whacked out. They don't mind. They want criminal justice reform. <laughs> For guys like the guy who, the one, 
Yes, there are people in prison that are wrongfully convicted. Yes, it happens. But you're going to take a case. If there was more cases in Kansas City, we would have heard about it. Y'all going to take one case y'all found and take their police and put their police on the summer jam screen. But you ain't going to talk about this, even though this is what you made all your money rapping about, Jay-Z. This is what you made your money rapping about, not police, not holding police accountable. You ain't you ain't make no money rapping about that. <laughs> you made your money talking about this. Why this why Kansas City is 30% sun people, but the gun memorial is 85, 90% sun people. <laughs> That's what you made your money. Talking about. So why the switch up? Why now? We want we, we, we want to hold police accountable because one brother was wrongfully convicted. And when they say wrongfully convicted, a lot of times they're talking about it was an all white jury or the judge. Um, they found that the judge said racist things in the past or something like that. <laughs> Or they might even um, find out like some evidence was supposed to be inadmissible. Like maybe like the police got the gun in a legal search or something and it was supposed to be inadmissible, but they used it anyway. This kid right here, Legend Taylor Pharaoh. Why didn't Jay-Z talk about him? Trump did. <laughs> Trump started Operation Legend. After this kid, this kid was sleeping in his bed. He was shot in the face while he was in bed in the wee hours of the morning. The bullet flew through the drywall, hit him in the face. And Donald Trump came across his desk. Somebody sent it to him. And he started an operation called Operation Legend. Where he sent the feds into Kansas City to find this boy's killers. And they find other gang members because a lot of kids were being killed in Kansas City last year. As you can see, looking at the gun more, a lot of kids were being killed in Kansas City last year. I don't I haven't done any videos on Kansas City in a while, so this year, so I got it. This is my first video doing uh, on Kansas City in probably like, in like four or five months. So I'm not completely sure if it's gotten worse, but it probably has. Um, but this little guy was in the bed counting Z's and boom, a bullet struck him in the face. And he died. And because of that, we have Operation Legend from the Trump administration. <laughs> the racist. The racist. On and on and on. Sun people. And I want you to know, a lot of these glacier gliders you see on here, they were killed by sun people. And none of these sun people were killed by glacier gliders. You know how you know that? Because there ain't been no protest. Crump wasn't in Kansas City. <laughs> Hal Sharpton ain't been to Kansas City in a while. Ben Crump, Killer Mike, T.I., my son, Lord, Tamika Mallory, they ain't been to Kansas City in a while. So you know none of these black, none of these some people was killed by no glacier gliders. <laughs> but a lot of these glacier gliders was killed by some people, I can tell you that. What does it mean when a billionaire backs your cause? Well, Casey K is about to find out. The social justice arm of Rock Nation, created by rapper Jay-Z, is fighting for police documents. Tonight, we're getting some new information about what that means exactly. Our investigative reporter, Angie Riccono, is answering the big question. That is, how did Jay-Z find Casey K? 
Short answer, the Midwest Innocence Project. Attorneys have exposed terrible allegations of corruption and abuse connected to Lamont McIntyre. He's now free, but his wrongful conviction never led to accountability or reforms. So the Midwest Innocence Project approached Rock Nation. Get ready for a nationwide shaming and a legal team that has the muscle and the means. How far are you guys willing to take this investigation? So we're willing to take this all the way. The attorney, the lead attorney is a Glacier Glider woman. Are you serious? Well, you know Jay-Z. He don't like to hire son people. He want the job done right. <laughs> he speaks with his actions. He don't he ain't he don't um he ain't a sellout you know, Uncle Tom like me. He don't use words, he just uses his actions. You know. If you look at all his um employees at title, they did a um <laughs> a employee photo <laughs> at title. And guess who the only two son people in the room was? <laughs> Some lady named Bay Beyonce, you might have heard of her. And yep, you guessed it, Jay Z. So Jay Z speaks with his um actions. He tells you some people what he think about you with your with his actions. Thirty years of rapping about killing y'all and selling y'all drugs, and then a post rap career. Of Starting businesses and not hiring none ya. Even the CEO of Rock Nation. <laughs> that lady they talk about keep was ratting on all the drug dealers. She ain't no son woman. Desiree Perez. <laughs> so uh yeah. How far are you guys willing to take this investigation? So we're willing to take this all the way. But well, we really want to see change. And we're not going to let up until we see change, including um, prosecutions, but also changes to the training, to the hiring, to the just the policies of the police department. Meet Christina Sarchio, a former prosecutor who now works for Rock Nation. How can this be going on under everybody's noses and nobody is doing anything about it? And it is. Are you talking about the record murder rate? In Kansas City last year, in which 90% of those people were sun people? Is that what you're talking about? Is what going on if under everybody noses and nobody talking about it? Or are you talking about a brother that, you know, I ain't even read the case, but some brother that allegedly got wrongfully convicted 30 years ago? Is that what you, is that what you putting on the summer jam screen? How can this be going on under everybody's noses and nobody is doing anything about it? And it is just screaming for help. She's referring in part to retired detective Roger Golubsky. He faces terrible allegations of sexual abuse and framing innocent men. And I have nightmares about this stuff like three to four times a week. Other families openly question if Golubsky is connected to a string of unsolved murders. She is the common denominator. They're women, cold cases, brutally murdered found in the same areas so he is a target at this point okay sister i could show you seven eight women that were killed in the last couple of months in kansas city <laughs> no one in custody do you want me to show you i can show you i can go to gun more and show you no you don't you don't feel like you ain't got time you chasing down this old white dude that you trying to say killed a bunch of black women back in the day. <laughs> you got to put all these murders, all these sudden women from 30 years ago, you unsolved murders. You going to put them on a, on a glacier glider, man. That's who's, that's who's going around killing you sun women. Right. Other families openly question if Golubsky is connected to a string of unsolved murders. She is the common denominator. They're women, cold cases, brutally murdered, found in the same areas. So he is a target at this point. KCTV5 and other news outlets have reported on allegations from numerous families time and again.
folks can watch the news here all day long, <laughs> right? We've got coverage on this channel. We've got coverage in the newspaper. Folks have heard about these issues, but the rest of the country hasn't. And that matters because we've all been hearing about it, but nothing has changed. And so now maybe when everyone gets to hear what's going on, with someone with the resources of bringing in and says this matters, maybe that will mean there's change. The fight right now is over documents. Team Rock's attorney promises this is the first volley. More to come. We will keep you posted. Angie Ricono, KCTV5 News. A Kansas City woman is recovering from her injuries after being attacked at a bus stop last week. KCTV5's Greg Payne spoke with the woman who now has a message for everyone. I kept on praying and just be like, God, do not let me lose consciousness. Lisa Jones of Kansas City says she was waiting at the Swope and Prospect bus stop last Thursday when a man began attacking her to try and take her phone. Now. Jay-Z, are you going to talk about the privilege that some people have? The fact that <laughs> they not going to tell you who did this and everybody know who running around Kansas City beating up Glacier Glider women and taking their phones? Because it's a big problem in Kansas City. You want to see what the people look like who's doing that <laughs> every time? You want to see what every suspect in every case like this in Kansas City look like? You don't have to worry about that because they're not going to tell you. Because they said feeds and the stereotypes. You want to talk about that privilege that you that we got, Jay-Z? Because if this was on the other shoe on the other foot, and it was a sister, got her brains beat in by a glacier glider, for a cell phone, it would be made into a racial thing. We not gonna hear nothing about race in this at all. We not even gonna hear the race of the suspect. I kept on praying and just be like, God, do not let me lose consciousness. Lisa Jones of Kansas City says she was waiting at the Swope and Prospect bus stop last Thursday when a man began attacking her to try and take her phone. <laughs> The police report says officers were dispatched just after 7.30 p.m. Authorities were able to arrest a suspect identified as Curtis Harris. He's being charged with felony second-degree robbery. I hadn't even seen this video. I promise you, I hadn't seen this video. I knew, and all of y'all knew, anybody who watches the channel, you know. In all these cities, the suspects for this, knockout game, hitting people, slugging people for no reason, Robbing people, taking be all the suspects. All of them. A Sunday. You want to talk about that, Jay-Z? I don't think so. Don't answer that. <laughs> don't answer that, Jay-Z. I don't want you to lie. Authorities were able to arrest a suspect identified as Curtis Harris. He's being charged with felony second-degree robbery. Court documents say he grabbed her hair and pulled her to the ground. Harris then started punching her multiple times in the face and also kicking her in the face while she was on the ground. The victim had blood on her face and arm. We spoke with Jones about the attack, and her main concern was the fact people watched as she was getting beat up. So people were too busy, too focused on trying to get home to their families, or they just they were scared to get involved because they didn't want to get attacked maybe. But even still, even if some, two people jumped out and grabbed this man, Long enough for me to get up and breathe. You know what I'm saying? I would have been, been grateful. Give me an ID on the people who were at that bus stop when a grown man was beating the brakes off this woman in broad daylight. <laughs> Give me an ID. Give me some, um, some, some descriptions of what those people who were at that bus stop may have looked like. <laughs> was they compassionate people? Full of... It, Empathy, like Nick Cannon said. <laughs> hmm. Or were they people that lack compassion and lack empathy? Devils, like Nick Cannon said. Which group that Nick Cannon was talking about was at this bus stop? What this woman was getting the brakes beat off of her in broad daylight? For a long period of time by a man and nobody did nothing. Who was out there? 
We spoke with Jones about the attack, and her main concern was the fact people watched as she was getting beat up. The people were too busy, too focused on trying to get home to their families, or they just, they were scared to get involved because they didn't want to get attacked, maybe. But even still, even if some, two people jumped out and grabbed this man, Long enough for me to get up and breathe. You know what I'm saying? I would have been, been grateful. We reached out to the Kansas City Area Transportation Authority about the incident at the bus stop. And at this time, they say they are not aware of this situation and have no comment. Reporting here in Kansas City, I'm Greg Payne for KCT.